the classic custard. The creamy taste that takes you back. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're live on SAVC3. Now, Clover Classic Custard brings you that creamy taste. It conjures up nostalgia and takes you back to those good old times. And yesterday, we spoke about fashion classics and timeless um, fashion. Today, we're reflecting on the sweet, soulful sounds of jazz music. And speaking of which, we're joined by a legendary saxophonist who started his journey at the tender age of 15, collaborating with artists locally as well as internationally. Don Vino Prince is here to share his amazing journey with us. But first, he performs a cover by Tevin Campbell, Can We Talk? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. It's such a warm, fuzzy feeling loft today. Definitely a musical Friday. Thank you so much. Don, sit wow. down. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm going to treat you to some custard, some classic flavor custard. Fantastic. Um, are you a dessert guy? I am. I am. I love my dessert. Do you and, particularly uh, like custard? Beautiful, my wife. Okay, I'm glad. Makes it all the time. She makes it all the time. All the time. <laughs> wow, that was absolutely beautiful. What have been the highlights of your career? I mean, you've traveled well, all over the world. You've played with some of the greats. Yeah. yeah. Look, uh, there's a couple of highlights in my career. You know, I've, I've played with Jonathan Butler, yes. Ladysmith Black Mombazo. I mean, come on. 
and then Kirk Whalen. But I think the highlight for me was when I released my first music video. You know, I, Why you know, is that? when I was a kid, I used to tell myself, one day, I'm gonna have a music video. <laughs> I you know that sounds, you know, but I just told myself, I want a music video one day, and one day's gonna play on TV and all that stuff. And it came to fruition, you know, so that's, that's my highlight, you know. That's incredible. Yeah. But I think the <laughs> defining... But you've, you've surpassed that dream, definitely. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think, I think uh, the defining moment in my career was when I went full-time into music, you know. I used to work with ShopRite. <laughs> I was really? A, I was a packer. What drew you, you know? to the smooth sounds of the saxophone? I, I joined the Christmas choir when I was 15 years old. And uh, when the guys who used to usually take a break, in the rehearsals, I would pick up one guy's saxophone and just fiddle with it, you know, and, uh, and so in essence, I taught myself how to play the saxophone. Self-taught. Self-taught, self-taught. How long yeah. did that take before you first picked it up to actually sounding like, you know what, I can actually play for people and I'm really good right. at this? Uh, that, that, that took a while, though. That took a while, I, That took huh? a while, that took a while. It took me a couple of months to kind of play a melody, you know, a, a proper melody. But it took me years to kind of master the instrument, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you've definitely had some huge career highlights, but what is the secret to you maintaining your success? Ooh, I think, I think a huge deal has to play, has to, to, to be my family, you know, my wife and the kids, who they keep me grounded, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, and just the people who support me over the years, you know, I, I think they play a huge role in me maintaining who I am as an individual and as a musician. Yeah. So uh, I'm really grateful to a lot of people who you know, play a huge part in yeah, my career. Yeah, that's amazing. This loft is just filled with grounded musicians today. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, your repertoire includes jazz, gospel, yeah. just the classics. What about your music keeps it just classically nostalgic, do you think? I think nostalgia is beautiful. It is. You know, yeah. it, it is so it's beautiful. And I think it's, in essence, it plays a huge part in who we are. And so when you hear that, that one classic song, you know, that just transports you back in time and to that moment, you know. Mm. I mean, we all have that, have that one we song. We all have moments. That when you like, hear yeah. all yeah. those memories and feelings comes flooding back, you know. Um, and I think uh, that's one of the reasons why these um, nostalgic kind of tunes and songs and genres will never go out of style. I yeah. Think. yeah, yeah. Well, what are, what are some of your um, dreams still that you still, a bucket, I call it the career bucket list. Sure. Mm. I want to travel with my own band. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I've just recently started as a solo artist, you know. So I've played in a lot of bands. I've been a backing musician for a long time, you know. Um, and I've just recently decided to go, to go solo. So my dream is to really get my music all over the world, you know. To yeah. travel all over with my own band, my own music, my own sound. That's my dream. Well, I don't doubt that that's going to happen. I pray it's going (laughs) to (laughs) happen. Absolutely. Now, it just goes to show that keeping it classic with the soothing sounds of music will never go out of style. Mm. And we've still got a second live performance coming up at the end of the show by renowned house producer Zion. After the break, it's time for Online Express as we look back on the week that was the biggest stories to trend on social media this week.